What's up, YouTube, and welcome to my channel. Back again with TTM episode number 45. It's been a busy week at the mailbox with eight returns over the last couple days. One baseball bag, four large envelopes, which contain eight by 10 photos, and then three small envelopes, which contain trading cards. Let's open these up and see if we had any luck. And envelope number one actually has a location, which is kind of rare for these larger envelopes. Coming in from Tampa, St. Pete, Florida. Okay, there's a bunch of stuff in here. It's from Dick Vitale. Looks like he included this sleeve to protect it, which is really cool. This is the photo I sent. Looks like his marker was a little dry, but that's okay. Dicky V. I sent this out about six months ago, I want to say. So I'm really surprised that I got this March Madness weekend of all times, but uh, you know, maybe that's intentional so that he can uh, drum up some more publicity for his new book and speaking of if you have any interest in dick vitale's last book the lost season all of the proceeds will go to the b foundation for cancer research so i think i'm actually going to look into this one book 29.99 two books 49.99 and all books will be personally autographed free shipping so that's pretty neat and large envelope number two Looks like it was pretty beat up during shipping. Let's see if it affected the photo. All right, we've got a difficult one. <laughs> got a right. Rip open like that. <clears throat> All right, the photo did get damaged, as you can see there on the back, but it's Misty May Trainer. She personalized it and signed with a heart. Great photo of her. One of the most dominant women's volleyball players of all time, if not the most dominant. I also included a card, which she also signed. That's great. Alan and Ginter from 2007. Her and Carrie Walsh went on a tear for like 10 to 15 years. They were really dominant and they were really fun to watch too. Great response. And envelope number three. We've got another difficult one. <laughs> These things. It looks like a wrestler. It's the king. All right. Jerry Lawler, David, you roll king. Jerry Lawler, WWE Hall of Fame 07. Unbelievable. Great photo from the king. He was a good wrestler, but he was an excellent commentator. Going back and watching some of those old matches on WWE Network has just been so entertaining because he is hilarious. I sent him a card as well. And he switched up the ink. That is an awesome sig with gold pen there. Pops off the card like that. That is a that's one of my favorite autographs that I've had, man. This is really neat. He is a legend indeed. Great response from the king. And on to large envelope number four. I think there's a card in there. I'll grab that in a second. All right, we've got a hockey return. Brian Bellows. Awesome. They included the inscription, a thousand points and games. He signed it beautifully there in that white space too, so I love that. You can see the ice shavings coming up there. That's a really cool photo. Let's see if he signed the card as well. Indeed he did. All right, great response from Brian Bellows. All right, let's check out this baseball. card was signed by the Dominican dandy Juan Marichal. Beautiful signature there on the Allen and Ginter. And he signed the baseball as well. Juan Marichal. That's great. He is a legend, Hall of Fame pitcher, 
Juan Marichal. And small envelope number one is coming out of West Palm Beach, Florida. Oh, awesome. It's a spring training hit. Jose, I want to say Urquidy. I have no idea how to pronounce that. If any of you know how, please help me out in the comment section below. But that is an amazing return from Jose, the pitcher from the Houston Astros. I sent a bunch to spring training, and this is only the second one that I've gotten back. But I'm really happy to get this one back from Jose. Small envelope number two was opened when I was not pressing play. <laughs> Coming out of Los Angeles, California, it's Willie McGinnis. The Prism. That looks sharp there on the Prism card. Willie McGinnis. Nice. And finally, small envelope number three is coming out of Orlando, Florida. All right, it's a wrestler. It's Bobby Fish. On the top's finest. That turned out nicely. All right, great response from Bobby Fish. And that'll do it for GTM episode number 45. Lots of variety here, which I always appreciate. And I'm very thankful to Jerry the King Lawler, Misty May Trainer, Dick Vitale, Brian Bellows, Jose, Juan Marichal, Willie McGinnis, and Bobby Fish for signing for my TTM collections. And thank you for watching. Hopefully you liked this video. And if so, give me a thumbs up. And feel free to leave any thoughts in the comment section below. And be sure to subscribe so that you don't miss future videos. Hope you're having a great weekend. Stay safe out there. Cheers.